I bought this Steam Deck from GameStop for only $299 before tax. But there are a lot of horror stories online about buying used consoles from GameStop. So let's go over what the unboxing is like and my personal experience after a week of use and see if this deal is too good to be true. So this is the 64 gigabyte variant of the Steam Deck that usually retails for $400 brand new direct from Valve, but has gone on sale to as low as 360. Valve has also started selling their own refurbished Steam Decks for $319 and the general consensus is that they are just as good as new with the same warranty, but they're often out of stock. And then here comes GameStop, who started selling their own refurbished Steam Decks at only $305 US dollars. The only caveat is that you have to pay $25 for their year subscription discount program thing, but that does give you big coupons every month, and even gives you a $10 discount just for signing up. I was already a member, so after using my monthly $5 discount coupon and the pro member pricing, this Steam Deck came out to $299 and 24 cents before tax. GameStop offered to ship it to me free of charge, which is interesting because when they first announced these about a month ago, they were forcing people to go in store to find them, and it was only like a handful of stores that had stock available. And now they were just cool with just shipping them out. Oh well, saved me a trip to the Big Bang Theory merch store, so I was happy. One downside to buying this unit from GameStop as opposed to Valve is that while it does come with a one year warranty, that warranty is actually serviced from GameStop directly and Valve has no say in it whatsoever. So if this thing breaks in the first year, GameStop says they will handle it, but I'm sure you've seen all of those I bought a refurbished console from GameStop videos and well, <laughs> none of them end well. So the real question here is, is it worth it to buy a Steam Deck refurbished from GameStop or even refurbed from Steam or just stick to brand new? Well, let's open this up and find out. So this is the package I got from GameStop. It is much larger than the traditional uh, Valve packaging for when they ship the Steam Deck. That one is like a quarter of the size. So hopefully there's a lot of packaging material in here. Let's get it open. Inside we have a litany of sealed air packaging. Inside of that is the packaging that I expected to get using GameStop's own boxing, interesting. So I understand why they ship this in the bigger box because it has Steam Deck logos all over it. You can't just ship this because people are gonna know what it is. Compare that to Valve's original packaging for the Steam Deck. Uh, and on the inside is everything that you know and expect from a Steam Deck packaging. But on the outside, this is actually the box they ship the Steam Deck in from Valve. So there's really no markings on the outside that show what is inside. So just less packaging, it's a nice touch. But in terms of box size, they are, yeah, practically identical. So the packaging doesn't come with the sleeve that we usually get from Valve that kind of covers everything up. But other than that, it is this case. I wish it was wrapped in plastic. Um, looks like it's gonna get dirty in here, but hey, it looks okay so far. And then over here we have the 35 watt Steam Deck charger. Let's take a look at the charger first. Uh, yeah, this is an original Steam Deck charger for sure. It's definitely used though. You can tell this is not brand new and that's to be expected. This is a, a refurbished unit after all, but no major scuffs, scrapes or anything. It looks about 90 to 95% quality. So pretty good there. Now for this, since it doesn't come in the plastic bag, it's got cardboard dust all over it. You know, that's, that's not the end of the world, but uh, it is something to notice. The case itself looks pretty good apart from, you know, all the cardboard dust. It looks like it's in used condition, maybe a little bit, um, but it's, it's it's looking pretty good. I don't see too much fraying on the fabric, so that's a, it's a good sign. So off to a good start. Uh, I was expecting to get something that looks brand new. Uh, it doesn't look brand new, but it doesn't look used either. So it's, let's open it up. Inside the packaging looks pretty normal. That is the bag. No problem with there, it has the white strap. Good to go. So on the back, there aren't too many major scrapes or anything like that. The back actually looks pretty good. Yeah, this looks pretty good so far. So other than that small little nick on the top and the side, oh wait, oh dear. So on the top here, near the power port and the USB-C port, we have a lot of scratches. Um, quite a bit of scratches actually. I'm not sure what happened here. Whoever previously owned this might have gone crazy trying to find the USB-C port in the dark, but there's a lot of scratches against this here. It's not immediately noticeable and they don't seem too deep. They're very surface level. So apart from those scratches and the smudges on the back, it's actually looking pretty good. So I don't think we can turn this on out of the box because if they're smart, like Valve, they should ship it in that power storing mode or whatever, which basically means you have to plug it in to get it going and that's to preserve the battery uh, health and safety. But let's see, maybe if I press the power button. Oh, 
Okay, so it not turning on is actually a good sign. That means they did put it in that battery storing mode and that is good for you know shipping around the world. So uh, let me plug it in. Now can we plug it in? Okay, it's looking pretty good. We should expect this to just go to the normal Steam Deck setup screen. Uh, hopefully it doesn't log into someone else's account. That'd be pretty funny. Um, but looking at everything else, it looks pretty good. There are some smudges on the screen, but I believe that's from my hand, my dirty little hand. So uh, I don't notice any micro scratches or indents, just a little bit of dust from the packaging, but that can all be cleaned off. Apart from that, the front of the Steam Deck looks uh, pretty good. I would say there's no noticeable scuffs or scrapes on the front and the buttons feel good. D-pad feels good. Joysticks are aligned. The buttons don't feel like they've been moved and we're getting booted on. So yeah, after booting it up, we are going into the initial Steam Deck setup page. Uh, so I'm just gonna go through this and I'm gonna spend the next week uh, just kind of testing it and putting it through the courses, using it as like I normally would any kind of Steam Deck and just see if it craps out on me, see if there's anything I notice with the performance. Honestly, it looks pretty good. I don't expect why it would have any issues in the future. So I'll go over it through a week and then after a week, uh, we'll come back and I'll give you an update. Four to six days later. So it's been about five or six days since I've received the Steam Deck from GameStop and I've just been casually using it here and there, putting it through a testing and it's been mostly fine. But starting with the second day, I've started to have a few problems. For example, sometimes the screen will just stay black when powering it on, and I have to hard reset a few times to get it going again. On top of that, I've just had some random crashes while gaming, and I've had to completely reset it just to get it going again. Now, I've owned my original Steam Deck for well over a year now, and I know that this is not normal behavior. It's possible that these problems will work themselves out over time, but I'm still within the original return period, so I'm just not going to risk it. And plus, this would be a good opportunity to test GameStop's return policy on refurbished products. So I went to the GameStop website to start the return process, and they give you two options on how to send it back. You can pay for the return shipping via FedEx for nine bucks, which I, I guess is a reasonable price, or you can go in person for free. I opted to go in person, and then you're fed a bunch of options of how you wanna handle the situation. Do you want a refund, replacement, have you opened it or not? So I hit refund. I have opened it, and the reason is that it's defective. I was then surprised that the final refund page told me that I had to pay a $16 restocking fee to return a broken device. Now, think what you will about restocking fees, but most big companies in the States don't impose restocking fees for most items. They'll usually eat the cost, but GameStop is a dog company, so I wouldn't put it past them to charge a restocking fee on a console. But this item is defective. I'm not returning an Xbox I played for six months that I got bored of. It's been less than a week, and the item was sold to me as defective. It's a really scummy move to charge me, the consumer, for your poor refurbishing operations. So I thought, you know, they must be charging the restocking fee on any and all Steam Decks that are marked as opened. So you could probably return it without a restocking fee as long as you didn't open the package, right? But when changing the option to any of the ones below, even the option that says I want a replacement while the Steam Deck is unopened, they still charge you a $16 restocking fee. So no matter which one of these options you choose, they're still going to try to take some money from you. Now at the bottom here, I see that it says that this is just an estimate and that the final refund cost might vary based on condition or whatever, which I think is fair because if I tried to return a Steam Deck, which like I broke the screen on myself and wanted a full refund, I think it makes sense for a restocking fee in that sense or you know, not to give the full value back, but that's not the case here. If I return this via FedEx back to their company, I 100% would be charged that restocking fee. But I'm gonna go into store, give them the benefit of doubt and try to return it and just be honest with them, tell them exactly what happened and we'll see if they actually try to charge me. Four to six days later. So we have a bit of an update in the saga. It's been about five or six days since I made that last part. I haven't had time to go uh, return this Steam Deck, but I wanted to follow up with GameStop to see if their customer support had any answers for what we were going through. So I sent them this email. I said, I want to return this item because it is defective, but you're trying to charge me a $16 restocking fee. seems like I shouldn't be charged a restocking fee if that item is defective. Just a simple question asking them to tell me their full restocking fee, right? And I got this answer back and said, our return policy for the Valve Steam Deck refurbished, the one I purchased, is as followed. Refund Within the 30 day return period with a 5% restocking fee, the product must be unopened to be eligible for a refund or no exchanges, contact the manufacturer for defective exchange. And they gave me some information uh, on how to do that. So that's strange because they actually definitely do allow you to return it if you've opened it. They allow you to 
uh, do whatever. They give you different options for returning it and all of them charge their restocking fee. This person is saying, if it's defective, contact the manufacturer. And if it's unopened, we'll take it back, but you have a 5% restocking fee. So it's strange that they're telling me to go to Valve because Valve has straight up said that they do not cover warranties from GameStop. I know they are technically the manufacturer, but that was kind of their agreement when they agreed to do this. Uh, so I actually reached out to Valve to see if they would help me. This is what I asked them. Hello, I purchased a refurbished Steam Deck from GameStop a few days ago, and it was defective. I tried to return it to the store, but they would not allow me to and told me to contact the manufacturer. It is my understanding that Valve does not handle the warranty on devices like this purchased from GameStop. Can you help me out and let me know what the truth is? They responded a few hours later, said, I'm sorry, but Steam Support can't help you with an RMA for this product. This unit was refurbished and sold by GameStop. We recommend contacting the store regarding any refund or replacement options. So Valve has now confirmed that they do not cover this warranty. So what's the truth? Does GameStop actually offer a warranty on this or not? Because it seems like they'll sell you a defective item and then if you wanna return it, you have to pay a 5% restocking fee or contact the manufacturer who won't help you. So I responded to GameStop and I said, this item was refurbished by GameStop. It is not eligible for a warranty through the manufacturer. My item was not refurbished well from GameStop and is defective. I don't think it's fair to charge a restocking fee when you promised me a working console. The refurbished guarantee on the package said 100% guaranteed, meaning I assumed this product would actually work. Why would I pay a restocking fee to return an item that is broken? So how GameStop support works is that you'll never talk to the same person twice. It just goes into a pile and then the next person will respond to you. So this is actually someone else's name, Fabio. So Fabio said, we apologize for the inconvenience you had with your order. However, we're able to discount the shipping fee you're being charged for the return and restocking. Please send us the proof of payment that was processed when returning the item and we'll gladly discount it from your order. So now they're saying, hey, if you got charged a restocking fee, we will refund it, no questions asked. And they're even saying they'll, they'll discount the shipping fee which I wasn't even doing a shipping fee. I just had a restocking fee. So the first person says, yeah, you're going to get charged. Second person says, well, actually, maybe we'll give you a refund if you were charged that. This is from the same company. Like, you shouldn't get different answers. This is just a mess. So I responded, thank you for getting back to me and offering me a refund of the restocking fee and shipping fee, but I just wanted to confirm what is your usual policy on this scenario. If I didn't reach out, do you just charge everyone a 5% restocking fee, even on devices that are sold as guaranteed refurbished, even if the device is defective? I haven't gone in person to return the item yet, but if I do, are they going to charge me the 5% restocking fee on this dead device? Got a response a few hours later from someone named Caesar that basically said, hey, then he said, it is not our standard practice to charge a restocking fee on devices that are sold as guaranteed refurbished and are returned due to defects. We apologize for any confusion or inconvenience you may experience, and I confirm that you will not be charged a restocking fee for returning the defective device. First person saying, no, you will be charge a restocking fee. The second and third people are saying, no, you won't, and we'll refund you if you do. So where's the cohesion? And if that's true, why was I being charged when I was trying to return online? So if you return online, they will automatically charge you unless you say something. It's their built-in system that takes that money out of your return. And I brought that up with them. I replied. I said, well, that sounds good, but when you start a return online, it automatically charges the $16 restocking fee from your label, no matter what the reason is. So unless I messaged you, it would have deducted the restocking fee. I said, it seems kind of shady to automatically deduct the money, even if it's against your policy. Then a few hours later, I got another response saying, I am sorry that you were receiving your stocking fee when you tried to return the Valve Steam Deck. After checking your order, we are unable to avoid the fee. The other way, if you want, we can change for a replacement. So now this fourth person is saying, we cannot avoid the restocking fee. You will get the restocking fee. That's how it's going to be. Why are four different people giving me four different answers? Do you charge a restocking fee or not? Why is there a restocking fee? Why am I being charged anything for being sold a defective device? Why put 100% guarantee on the box if that's not true? Why, why all the shadiness? Why all the confusion? Why not just be upfront? Now, I don't know if this is a problem with these customer support people are not trained properly, but they're giving me links to stuff. And on their own website, GameStop's policies are all over the place. There's nothing set in stone. It's just, it's a mess. The whole company is a mess. So the only way to figure it out for sure is to just go in person. So I'm gonna go in person and see if they charge me the stupid restocking fee. Hello. Good, I have a return. Yeah. You almost sell it in a store, huh? Just online, yeah, I got it online. I guess you can scan that. And online, I was talking to their, their support and they said I shouldn't be charged a restocking fee because it's defective, but the online thing kept like giving me that option. So I just wanted to make sure. Was there anything wrong with it first off? Yeah, that's why I'm returning it. It just kept crashing. 
Yeah. The thing you had me scan was it the the packing slip. The packing slip. Yeah. Can I just see the whole thing? It wouldn't. Oh yeah. I don't know if there's a number on there. I'm trying to see at least the date if there is one. Mm -hmm. Do you know when you ordered it or anything like that? Uh, I mean, I have the original receipt. I can look it up. It was pretty recently. Uh, do you, did you pay with like a Visa, MasterCard? Uh, I have Visa probably, yeah. I don't have any MasterCard, so probably Visa. Jason? Yeah. Did you have your card? Oh, yeah. Go ahead and send it whenever you're ready. Oh, sure. The screen changes, you can tap. Press the green. Wait for it to beep, and depending on your bank, and if this goes through, it may take a couple of days. Okay. If you do not see it in seven to eight business days, contact customer support for okay. GameStop, and we'll try to fix it for you. Okay. Because it's a pretty big purchase, so your bank might be like, Yeah. Oh, Understood. Okay, yeah. awesome. Thank you. Appreciate no problem, it. Man. Have a good one. Well, as you saw, we were able to return the Steam Deck no questions asked. Shout out to the GameStop employee I interacted with. They were friendly and helpful and really made the entire return process pain-free. It's been a few days since that footage was shot, and I checked my bank account, and sure enough, they just gave me a full refund and did not charge any restocking fee. So what can we conclude from this whole saga? First, GameStop. You have to retool your online return system. People should not be charged a restocking fee on any and all refurbished returns when that is actually not even your policy. Second, you need to educate your customer support team as to what your actual policies are. Having four support people chime in on a single ticket saying totally different things is confusing at best and seems like a scam at worst. And finally, rehash your refurbished program. The physical condition of my Steam Deck was not that bad at all, so credit where credit is due, but having a device start crashing within days of ownership is not a good look, and I know I'm not the only one to have issues. This is a sample size of one from personal experience, but I probably won't be shopping in GameStop again for the foreseeable future. My name is Jason. Thanks for watching.